I love to be creative with innovative dyes and in this last of my Creales Creative Fun Fold video series I am featuring the On The Move number 19 diagonal squares die set and new bee themed dies from Creales. Hello, I am Karen Hashik of Karen's Creative Cards and I have created this video for my YouTube channel and for Creales YouTube channels. Fun Fold cards are so easy to create with this new series of fun fold on the move dies from Creales. and here is the first card that I created with these new dies so again this is the diagonal squares and um, I have created a super cute bee and and honeycomb card that stands up on its own and lays flat to mail we have some new cute bees and uh, several honeycombs dies um, and then BU. So um, I love how that card turned out. Um, here are the new dies that I used. There are two sets of bees. One is the large and one is the small and the medium. Um, as you can see, these are really easy to put together. The wing pieces um, in a different color are all there, and even these little tails that shows where they're flying is in that set. Um, then there's a smaller honeycomb, and I use that here with the honey dripping there. Um, and then there's a set of Texto Negativo dies both in the vertical and the horizontal um, I'm going to show you in the card that I make you can use these just the negative like I did here or you can layer them up um, and they say be you just for you and be so I have said be happy and be you and be be, be you know all sorts of different words um, that you can create with that and then there's this one that's called Frame and Inlay Honey, um, which is again like some more honeycomb. Um, I used it layered here, and I'm going to use it again on the um, card that I create with you. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a card like this one. And then I'm going to add a couple of st easy steps to make it into a surprise pop-up in the inside of a card by just adding two pieces of cardstock. So I have cut that main piece here um, and uh, out of a, a white cardstock. And all you do is, I mean it's so easy, I, I've showed you in the other videos that I've done, you just fold down, fold up, fold down, and fold up. And there is your basic shape. So um, again, very, very, very easy. Um, and then all you do is decorate it as desired. So <laughs> um, I have had some fun figuring out how I'm going to decorate this. Maybe I'll start on the back. Um, I wanted to have uh, this piece, it is layered. So you can see that on, on all these diagonal squares and all the pieces of that die, you get a stitched layer and a regular layer. Um, and I, I just wanted to be able to sign in this one, uh, in this uh, pointy edge on the back. I'm going to need my so I'm going to put this diagonally there and that's where I'm going to sign and then I have um, used the Texto Negativo dies and I'm going to say Happy B Day so B Day of course is a play on words with um, birthday Happy B Day and then I have a B to put on here so um, I was going to lay this one I love that there is uh, both the vertical and the horizontal. There's just so many options. So I, we have Happy B Day. This is going to be a birthday card. And this one is going down. And then I changed colors on the B part. And then this one is layered.
happy B day. And then I have one of the, the smaller bees. And I just put some two-sided uh, tape strips on these to, so I don't have to wait for the glue to set up. And of course you can attach it any way you want. Let's see, we'll what do you think this way? this way. I think I'll go that way. All right, so our third layer is ready. Then on the second uh, layer, I decided to do um, the piece that has both uh, that has the uh, pointy edge there. So we have a layered red and black. And then these pieces here are when you cut out this uh, honeycomb all these pieces come out and on one of the ones that I did I made it uh, sticky with two-sided tissue tape from Tonic Studios so I had these perfectly good pieces sitting here that were had sticky on the back and were easy real easy to attach in a fun little pattern there and then I have a couple more bees that I'm going to add to this one I thought it would be fun to have the wings on this one um, propped up. Uh, uh, so I put some two-sided tape uh, adhesive strips on the wings. So um, this way on this one, his body's going to be down, but his wings are going to be up. And then I am doing that on this one as well. So I have a glue dot in the middle and some more of that adhesive raised foam strips on his wings. Where did you, I think, I guess, there. So two bees there. And then on the front, I have the rectangle piece, again, layered with the stitching. Um, so you can choose, you know, mix and match all these different layers, which makes these dies very fun to work with. And then this honeycomb, um, I've raised three of the pieces um, with more of the insides of those. And then I have adhesive just on this half, so this is going to stick out. Put it on there. So it sticks out. Um, over that diagonal square piece. And then I have one more B. Raised on some more of those foam strips. And I thought I would put him here. And these little swirly dies are so cute to make it look like he's flying. And so I need some glue to attach that. So I could leave this just like this. This is super cute. We have again the honeycomb on the front and the bees and then happy bee day 
um, and again it would stand up and um, lay relatively flat to male um, but I thought um, if you've watched this series you've seen me add a piece that makes this a Z fold card and then I'm going to add another piece and it's going to be the cover so when the card is open this fun surprise will kind of pop out so my um, Z fold card bases that I have been using have been five and a quarter by ten and a half and you fold it on the in the middle and then you fold it again so you can see why that's called a Z fold and um, I've been attaching this um, to this card base with uh, obviously adhesive here and adhesive here but what I decided to do this time was I'm gonna go up a little bit um, and I have some extra pieces that I cut apart from that cool honeycomb die um, to just add a little bit of a fun uh, uh, decoration along the bottom so um, I didn't have many pieces of 12 by 12 white cardstock so this one had a little pattern on the back but that's okay because it kind of looks like a honeycomb so um, we're going to attach this with a little bit of border there along the top and then just add some adhesive to the back of this one and press it down so you can see that this um, additional piece has added some more stability and made it a little bigger and then um, I am going to take the adhesive off of the back of these or at least I'm going to try right there we go and I thought maybe three centered here would just be a fun touch and then I have five for this piece I'll put them over a little bit on this one because then you see it the pattern continued um, and then three for that center Well, that's just kind of a fun little additional decoration and again I could stop there and that's a very cool Z fold card however <laughs> I decided that I thought it would be fun to add a cover um, and this piece is um, five and a quarter plus a just a little tinge because I I just wanted to make sure it was a little bigger and nothing showed I can always trim it if I need to um, by five and three quarters again with a tinge and um, I scored this side at one half inch and I have put decorative tape not decorative tape you know two-sided strong tape there it's going to stick here is the plan and then we will have a square card that when they open they'll get that fun surprise but I think it would be easier to decorate it before I attach it so what I've done is I've cut um, some of those um, honeycombs and I have raised them um, and I did three two Three. but I think I'm going to have a little space in between them and then I have the words be so I need to move these over be happy and of course a couple more cute bees because you got to have bees right so um, that's the plan um, I think I might put the words on first
because I have to I know where they go I make sure that I leave room of course so the happy is from the happy birthday um, vertical no yeah vertical um, Texto Negativo die set. So again, and I could have put another layer on, but I like the red right through there. So um, you can see the, whoops, get that to stay down before you move it. Be happy. Oh, yeah, it does. I was going to say, how was I going to attach that? But I put that two-sided tape on there, so make it easy. So I went three, two, and I like that little bit of red in between. Three, two, three, and then we have two B's to add. I think one I was gonna put there. And then maybe one right on a honeycomb, what do you think? that up just a bit and then remove the cover of this strong two-sided tape and that is going to go ooh, carefully and don't let that We have a square card and um, it has those really cute honeycombs and bees and be happy on the front and then when they open it they're going to have this really fun pop out inside with more honeycomb more bees happy bee day so there is another way that we could use these innovative on the move fun fold dies from Creelis. I love how this turned out and I hope my card inspired you to give some of these ideas and products a try.